Predicting the course of rheumatoid arthritis doesn't have to be a complex task, says Dr. Daniel E. First of UCLA's Geffen School of Medicine. In fact, it's actually fairly straightforward. We know that a patient who has a positive CCP or a positive rheumatoid factor are patients who are likely to pro progress rather rapidly. We also know that if patients have, uh, are female, they tend to uh, progress more rapidly. Not surprisingly, if patients have more active disease, they tend to progress more rapidly. So really, when a patient walks into the room, we can tell, to a large degree, whether they're going to get in trouble. If they're a woman, if they have active disease, and after simple testing, if they have anti-CCP or rheumatoid factor, they're likely to be progressors. If patients are progressors, Dr. First says there are a number of tools available to physicians in order to help the patients respond to therapy. I think there is actually more data with respect to response to methotrexate. There was a good study which showed that patients who are CCP positive tend to respond both clinically and in terms of x-rays much better than if they're CCP negative. Now I think in the future it's very likely that there will be genetic signatures which will tell us if a patient's going to be a responder to TNFI or TNF blockers. We don't have that yet, but it's coming, so I'm pretty comfortable with that. Interestingly, there's also data that says over for rituximab that the presence of anti-CCP predicts their response. In fact, if you're anti-CCP positive, you have about a 70% chance of responding, whereas if you're anti-CCP negative, you probably only have about a 40% response rate. So, we have markers for response to methotrexate, we have markers to, for response to rituximab, and we will have markers for response to TNF inhibitors. This is Sally Cubitin reporting from the Annual Perspectives in Rheumatic Diseases meeting in Santa Monica, California for Elsevier Global Medical News Network.